What are you doing up there? Come on. Come on. Look what I got. Did I wake you up? Huh? That's it. You just want a belly rub? Huh? So, this is Roscoe. He really, he's a big fan of grapes. Um, and he likes to, oh, watch out, bud. He likes to ride on your shoulder. So I figured I'd just go get the mail. He's not very good with the manners. Oh, okay. Hey, bud, you need to, this is not. This is going well. At least, at least Roscoe's happy. Ooh. He's just living his best life. Okay, but you're gonna, you shouldn't really do this in a tank top. It doesn't work out so well. Can we get down? Can we get down? There we go. So <laughs> I didn't bottle feed Roscoe. I had family friends who bottle fed him. They found him, someone gave them to him as like an orphan. Come on. Um, so they bottle fed him and then their neighbor didn't like having him around and mine that I had been feeding um, from a baby had actually um, died. Come on. And so, he came out here to live with me in BFE and just try to be more of a raccoon, do raccoon things. So far, he's doing pretty good. Um, he lives mainly in that giant tree in my driveway. He doesn't mind the cat, but he and the dog don't get along very well. Or the dog, my dog loves him, but Roscoe does not love my dog. Come here. He'll do pretty much anything for grapes. It's right here, buddy. Hey. See? He caught himself a cicada. So maybe he'll be good in the in the wild after all. If you don't have grapes, he really doesn't care much about you.